my name is Steve Darcy from Go Engineer, and I thought I'd take you on a little trip to uh, show you how we could get uh, properties from parts going to uh, properties of the drawing. Uh, a lot of times you want to do that, especially like this blade that I have. Um, I need to get the weight propagated to the drawing, so that way when I check it in, it's going to be on the drawing and everything. So let's start off. I, I do have two files in Enterprise PDM. This is in the vault, and I want to go ahead and uh, Take a look at them. They're both checked out, so they're editable. And the first thing I need to do is, of course, make a property uh, to go into the drawing. So I'll call it weight. We'll use the little drop down. We'll use the mass. And then this is in uh, grams. So we'll add that. And we'll say OK. So now I have a, uh, a property. Now I can actually go to the drawing. So let's open that guy up. And I have a space for the weight, and I also have the uh, the views. Uh, this is pretty important. Uh, also in the sheet for the properties, I have uh, drawing view one specified for the custom value properties for the model. Okay, so that's probably this this view right here, and uh, it's going for the properties of the values for that blade. Uh, before I do that, though, let's go ahead and uh, make sure that this is filled out in the title block. So let's go to the edit sheet format. I'm gonna double click on weight right there. I'm going to just pick a little place right behind that and we'll go to the custom uh, link to properties button. Uh, this is going to be a model found here. And uh, we'll grab weight. Now, occasionally, if a weight is not in the property name, I had this kind of a happen, uh, select on that, hit the little drop down, and then change it back to uh, drawing view specified. And then weight should pop up. So we'll go ahead and say OK. You'll notice it's going ahead and grabbing that value. Um, and if we look at the, the properties of this file, you'll notice that weight is not even in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish out of the uh, sheet format. We've got weight in there; it's all nice. Um, now, before I do this, I do want to have an area so that once I initially check this in, uh, the weight property will be in there. But then it also needs a value in the actual file itself for the card. Now, this is a little bit tricky, so I do have to. Go ahead and create a field for it. There we go. And I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And we'll go ahead and save that. And uh, so then I also need uh, to tell the card to go ahead and grab that information. So I'm going to go into the uh, PDM admin tool. You can see I'm in a uh, PDM standard vault, so this works for standard and professional. And I have a, uh, a drawing card, so we'll just double click on that. And under the weight field here, you can see it's getting the SQL variable for weight. So let's go to the variables. And it's not only pushing that out to properties in the SOLIDWORKS drawing, part, and assembly, but I also want it, so let's add a new attribute in here, to get it from the property. So it's going to be PRP sheet. And the attribute name, I'll just copy it from there. Paste. And then this is only going to be for SLD. DRW files. So it's only the SOLIDWORKS drawing files that this attribute uh, is going to grab. So initially when we check it in, uh, this does have to be checked in through the SOLIDWORKS interface uh, and then it'll propagate to this SQL value. When it propagates to the SQL value, then it's going to show it in the, uh, the card. So let's go ahead and hit the save button there. Uh, we should be good. Usually I'll rebuild and hit the save button. And then we'll go ahead and check it in. Let's check this really one more time. Notice that it's already kind of filled out right there. I didn't even type that in. So now when we check it in, check both files in. Give that a second. And we'll go look on our data cards. We'll click on the blade. And we'll click on the... So notice that 24.52 grams is there. And if I look at the... Uh, the weight for this it's there as well now usually you also want to make these weights uh, read only so people can't change them and the only way they're going to get changed of course is if I update the part file and update the drawing and of course both have to be checked out in order to do that so they should probably get just fine uh, if you have any other questions or anything let us know thanks for watching mm -hmm.